Into the Light is here, and the future's looking really good. I figured I would start with Hung Jury as far as these brave weapons, and this scout rifle by far is the most despised of the returning ones. But a couple things about that. One, there is a different god roll to chase. A god roll that's pretty powerful, especially for a long distance kinetic weapon. And second, returning and new players are here. So to all of you new and returning players, this is a scout rifle that you do want. The path to it right now is a lot easier than focusing Legacy Nightfall weapons. Version 4 still has very strong PvP things and very solid PvE things. It's able to do something no other scout can, and you're going to see comments on this video and other videos on Twitter, on Reddit. The Destiny veterans are really upset it's coming back a fourth time, and as a Destiny vet, I get it. This is something that you want though. It's something that can and will help you in content. And with what's shown here with this new perks, you can go for another specific role, focusing those legacy nightfall weapons if you do enjoy Hung Jury. And for all of you Destiny veterans, no matter what, these things are gonna be dropping. We have a little bit before final shape. You might as well look at them. There is something special here to look for that I want you to look for. Only one other weapon has it, and that weapon isn't even out yet. So Hung Jury version four coming in with the Brave Origin trait, Indomitability. Final blows grant grenade energy when you're playing a light subclass. And if you're playing a darkness subclass, you get melee energy. So on those kills with the weapon, you get around 2.5% ability energy for whichever subclass that you're on, light or dark. This will stack with perks like Demolitionist and similar. Hung Jury doesn't have anything like that, but it is a big deal, so be on the lookout on the other weapons. And no matter what, passively in PvE, you're getting those abilities a little bit faster. In the Crucible, just getting kills with them in a sandbox where there's a reduction of abilities, it's a good thing. Still kinetic. That's also good. Kinetic weapons deal 10% more damage in PvE to non-shielded enemies, and out of the gate, there is one role that it lost that's a big deal, at least to me, and that's Kinetic Tremor Shoot to Loot. You're seeing it on the old Legacy Nightfall weapon. I don't even have it adept, but I keep it and I use it. Kinetic Tremor's in general one of the best perks in the game for a kinetic weapon. You shoot a number of shots, then three waves of kinetic damage come out, and the damage is really good for a primary weapon, especially being kinetic to those unshielded enemies. Those waves are dealing more damage. When you pair Shoot to Loot with Kinetic Tremors, if there's an orb, a special brick, a heavy brick, those waves that come out, if those things are there, it picks them up. So you can be far away, you can get ammo, you get armor charged. It's a great perk combination. And very few weapons have it, and Hung Jury is one of them. So if you do like Hung Jury, and this is something that you're interested in, place the Vanguard stuff, focus those Nightfall weapons, I think you should be able to. But with Hung Jury version 4, in the third column, we have Rewind Rounds, Enlightened Action, No Distractions, Rapid Hit, Shoot to Loot, Kinetic Tremors, Loose Change. So the perks are there, but they're in the same column. In the final column, one for all, box breathing, firefly, precision instrument, desperate measures, explosive payload, cascade point. For the most part, when you're looking at this weapon, there's various things that can work, right? Maybe shoot to loot explosive payload. That is just a solid PVE option. And remember, explosive payload in PVE, the damage splits in two, the damage portion deals 30% increased damage in PVE, not affected by damage fall off. That's really, really good. But mostly, as far as version four, it's the first weapon to have kinetic tremors in the third column, and that's a big deal. The only other one is Blast Furnace, and we're gonna be getting that at a later date. But kinetic tremors being in the third means you have some options in the fourth. I'm gonna talk about a lot of perks in depth, but the main thing to look for right now is kinetic tremors one for all, kinetic tremors explosive payload, kinetic tremors precision instrument, and Kinetic Tremor's Desperate Measures. And Desperate Measures is a new perk, and I believe that it's a great perk. Weapon Final Blows grant bonus damage. Melee and Grenade Final Blows grant a larger damage bonus to that stack. So how it works, just passively, as you get a kill with the weapon, a times one stack is 10% more damage. Now, opposed to Golden Tricorn or any other perk, you can just get a regular melee final blow that immediately goes to times two. If you get another melee final blow, it'll cap at times three. But why this is good, couple reasons, though not as potent as a golden tricorn or something like that. But as long as you have stacks on the screen, if you get to a times three, you just get kills with the weapon. So times one stack is 10% more damage, times two is 20, times three is 30% more damage. So 30% more damage, just playing regular. Throw a grenade out, get a melee final blow. You're always gonna have times one with weapon kills, but you need the melee, the charge melee or the grenade kill to get the bigger stacks. And once you have those bigger stacks, just use it regular. As long as you're getting kills, it'll keep the three stack. And also note, if you get a grenade or melee final blow, it will proc in the background. So if you have out an SMG, a rocket, whatever, and you get a melee, when you switch to hung jury or any weapon that has desperate measures, it'll be at times two. As a perfect example, I do have a kinetic tremors, desperate measures, what we now call shiny. So I also have Kinetic Tremors Explosive Payload, No Distractions, Desperate Measures, Kinetic Tremors, Desperate Measures. But again, the deal about Kinetic Tremors being in the third 
is that it takes on the effect of the other perks, meaning whatever stack that you're on, the tremor damage will do 30% more damage. It'll do 20% more damage or 10% more. And that's really, really good. Like as you're seeing right here, there's a whole bunch of enemies. I've gotten to times three. I'm throwing out tremor damage. The scout itself is doing 30% more damage. The kinetic waves are doing 30% more damage. And as long as it's tagging something, even if I'm on a larger enemy and the waves take out a thrall, or a rank and file enemy, it resets the timer of the times three stack. So this is really good and what sets it apart. But ideally, I believe the overall god roll is gonna be kinetic trimmers one for all. And that's gonna be for a couple reasons. One for all is on hits. After damaging three separate enemies, within three seconds, you deal 35% increased damage for 10 seconds. So in theory, if there's a big boss or an ultra or a champion just running around and you just proc kinetic trimmers on them, so the, the waves, and the damage of the weapon is 35% more. Very easy to proc in PvE. And as a scout rifle, again, one of the safest options in the game, you're able to do it at a distance. Same goes for precision instrument. Now that's 25% more, but as long as you're handing crits, upping that damage, in theory, the waves are gonna be that 25% more as well. Now, a couple things. Kinetic tremors, it is hit-based, but it's more sustained damage. Like you would think, like kinetic tremors, explosive payload, it takes six total hits to proc kinetic tremors. That means there would be 12 hits with explosive payload. Regardless, it takes six shots. It doesn't proc any quicker, but, Kinetic Tremors for sustained damage on yellow bars. Explosive Payload with its 30% more against rank and file. It's a great combination. And keep in mind, the origin trait final blows. Grant that grenade or melee energy. If you're able just to wipe out three or four enemies quickly with Kinetic Tremors, all that's going to it. Then there's Firefly. You could change it around a little bit. Other than that, there are some things here, such as Rewind Precision Instrument. Rapid hit one for all, rapid hit desperate measures, like those all can work, but really what sets it all apart, why you want to go for it is kinetic tremors in the third. As you saw, I have desperate measures paired with it. I am looking for one for all. I'm looking for a precision instrument. So for you Destiny veterans, I know it's upsetting seeing hung jury, but when you see kinetic tremors in the third, pay attention to the fourth because that's something that you want to try out. And up to this point, I haven't mentioned it, but these weapons retroactively can have enhanced perks. You're not gonna be able to change the barrel, mag, but enhanced kinetic tremors, enhanced one for all. That's where this thing's gonna shine. There's some fun things like Firefly and some workaround things like let's say Enlightened Action Explosive Payload. Enlightened Action is hit-based and it does count the two hits from Explosive Payload. So you're always gonna have a fast reload with a combination like that. But PVE, kinetic tremors in the third, that's where it really all starts. As far as the Crucible, in a lot of ways, if it's not broke, don't fix it because there is some interesting options here. Like we'll take precision instrument. Unfortunately, I don't have a precision instrument role, but in theory, you could two head two body pretty easily. And if you have something like radiant, it should be able to three tap. And something that I do have is desperate measures. Now this is cool, but also not quite at full strength like you would want it to be. So after that first kill, you get 10% more damage. It goes to 77 per crit. Well, this is a rounded number. Three crits of 77 is 231. But tier 10 does survive this. That means that there is rounding going on. So it's really like 76.15. So three tap is 228.4. So like max and top resilience survive that. And it's really good when you pull it off, get a chain of three taps, but there will be enemies that survive it. And that's kind of enough to put it away. There's no distractions, explosive payload, 35% flinch resist after aiming down sights. So you're taking less flinch, explosive payload, you're giving them more flinch. It works out. Cascade point. Though I believe that it is disabled right now. It give you a three crit one body for a 0.6 TTK. And with what I have, I tried a bunch of different things. If it's broke, don't fix it. Box breathing. Now the one that I'm using is an adept one from the nightfall. It is surplus box breathing. So it's 100 stability pretty much all the time and then box breathing. I tried different roles, different things. And the first game, I was like, you know what? Let's try box breathing on hung jury again. It's still a powerhouse. First game was 33 kills. We ran out of medals. A 10 efficiency, only died like three times. So you're gonna take that three tap at a distance more than chaining with, let's say, or trying to chain with desperate measures or anything like that. The 0.67 from a long range is extremely strong and it's still the go-to perk option in column four for the Crucible. It's, and it's easy to proc. And ideally it's gonna be no distractions box breathing, enlightened action box breathing, or rapid hit box breathing. As far as the Barrel Mag and Masterwork, PvP, it's going to go to Handling and Stability overall. PvE, you do want a little bit of range because this thing will have fall off, but Stability, Handling, and Reload are very important on it. You're going to slot Best Available, but I'd air more to Handling, Reload, and Stability when it comes to PvE. 
And for both, the absence of Omelon fluid dynamics makes this weapon feel a little bit different. Like when I was using this Desperate Measures role in PvP, I kind of hated not having Omelon fluid dynamics, but I am getting a lot of worth out of its new origin trait. So again, you can go focus some of the old Nightfall ones if you want to go for Shoot to Loot, Kinetic Tremors. If not, the role right now is Kinetic Tremors in the third, preferably one for all. Again, to make those waves deal 35% more damage. And when scouts are a part of the artifact, like I love using Hung Jury when it's barrier or overload, whatever it is. And if you get those waves start hitting a little bit harder, it's going to be a lot better. The ones that I went over, one for all first. And then we have Desperate Measures, Precision Instrument, Explosive Payload. And some of you out there just might want Shoot to Loot Explosive Payload. Like all of those can work. But again, even though this definitely is not the first choice and a lot of people don't want anything to do with it, it is really, really special to have Kinetic Tremors in the third. So that's what you need to look for. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about Hung Jury SRV4 down below in the comment section. And you're going to be getting these. So go ahead and look at them and see if you get one of the better roles that it can offer. Let's talk about it down below. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.